Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play <clears throat> Kirby's Return to Dreamland Part 4. In the last part, we did uh, we did start uh, level 2 Raisin Ruins. Did stage 1, did stage 2, and now we're doing stage 3, stage 4, and to finish it off, um, the boss fight. So, basically we're just going to be finishing off Raisin Ruins in this video. Yay! So, might as well get things started with stage 3 here. And, um, first of all, I'd like to say that, uh, stage 3 actually has a few, just very few, unique things about it. Um, the first thing being that it has, uh, it introduces two brand new abilities in, for Kirby, so, ever, so, it's kind of interesting. Um, other than that, it's just for energy spheres, and, I don't, and there's a new mini boss. so, yeah. That's pretty much it for it, so, you know. Um, first part just, you know, just the first part. So anyways, um, yeah. Stage 3, stage 4, and boss fight. Um, the, the unique abilities, uh, in this stage that they introduce are, um, not the best abilities you can have in the game, but by far, but, um, you don't really see them that much in the game at all, so it's nice to, like, okay, that was worded wrong, but, um, I'll get back to more of that in a second, but, um, if you see those white mummy-like things, um, I don't really rem remember their names, but, uh, those guys basically just play the game of Follow the Leader. Um, if you're, like, right now, if I'm going to the right, and, um, if I'm going to the right, then they follow me, because I'm not looking at them. So if I turn around and look at them, they stop. They, they're immobile, so... Basically, they just try and follow you and sneak up on you and hurt you, so that's what they do. They're just more annoying than anything. But anyways, the first of the new abilities is the Tornado ability. Now, that's pretty easy, because it's just, you're just a Tornado ability. You're just a Tornado, you know? You fly around, you can bounce off the walls and everything, so it's a pretty interesting ability. Um, I like it. It's basically useful if you're trying to fly, if you, like, if you don't want to do a big float up in the air and try and get on top of something, you can just use it to, like, fly on up, but, mm, I don't know. It's kind of hard to control, but, you know, just like a tornado. But, uh, yeah, it's, you don't really see this ability that much in the game, so if I, if you see it, I'd probably use it, because, um, you don't really see it that often. It just goes back to the fact that uh, that I said in a previous video, that there's some abilities in this game that don't get used a lot, there's some that are used a lot, and way too much. So, but if you saw right there, I just died! First time of death. Yay! So, um, what does that mean for the future? Well, it probably means there's probably some more, more dying if I died that easily. Um, uh, I just kind of got squished into the wall in the corners of the moving sand block, and yeah, so... That was just kind of an accident, but what can you do? Just gotta start on that, this part of the stage again, so, no problem, I guess. Got 13 more lives. Lucky number. But, uh, yeah, so if you die, you just kind of start going back, you start over the stage again. Any energy spheres you collected before you die, um, automatically, is, you already have it, technically. So you don't have to go back and get them, but I went back, I was like, oh, I didn't look up at the screen where it shows me what, how many energy spheres and what I have, so, I was like, oh, I could've just done that, but whatever. Whatever, you know, so, um, moving on. After I have to go back here. Um, those cannonballs, those cannons, they shoot fireballs, so, um, just be careful, you know, fiery death, and everything, so. Don't wanna get squished into the corner again, so, go through the door. The other new ability in this level, in this stage, it introduces the new ability, High Jump. Now, this is not just, like, your regular Kirby jump, it's, a uh, super special ability. It is, um, basically, you pull down one or two, you pull one, and you just super jump, high jump, you know? It's really cool, um, it's not really that useful against enemies and stuff unless they're above you, so I wouldn't really recommend it if you're doing that. If, you know, if you're just in, like, a boss fight or something, I wouldn't recommend it, but if there's just a lot of floating up in the air and everything, then not that bad. Um, in this little maximum tomato box, uh, there's maximum tomato. 
All you have to do is throw on the ground real hard and a maximum tree will throw out, or come out, so... That's nice. Like, so. And we have... King Dude, and he is a fun little mini-boss. He gives you the beam ability when you defeat him. Um, he's not that hard. Um, he does use the beam ability against you. A shock, but, um... Yeah, he's not that hard. There are some mini-bosses later on that are a little annoying, but other than that, most of the mini-bosses are hard. So, King Dude's defeated, and we get the beam ability. Yay! Um, you actually don't see King Dude that much in the game. Like, not really. You don't see him again for a little while, but he's one of those mini bosses where you just don't see um, that often. But there's some that you see so much, so it's a difference. Just like the abilities. Anyways, what you need the be beam ability for is there, because it goes through stone blocks and stuff, so it can easily just destroy the bomb and stuff. So inside stone blocks or whatever, and there's an energy sphere inside hidden. So yay. Go to the door, and here we go. We got some cannons. Now the ones with the arrows, they sign you, they sign you painlessly, or I don't know, I forget the word, but basically it go, it rotates and rotates constantly, and you have to basically time your way through it. So you press one or two, or whatever, when you want, when you want the uh, can to shoot you, when it's aiming in a certain direction. But you gotta move fast because some are really fast, some are kind of slow, but. There are some later on that are really fast, so you gotta be careful. There's an energy sphere in the bomb rock one, so the last one of this stage. We're actually done, so. Yay! Whip ability, I wouldn't get it, because beam ability is just better. Um, but yeah, and they're level already. Stage. Gotta say stage. I just don't understand why would you call a war like a level, like Raisin Ruins, why would you call that a level? It's more of a world. And then each stage should be called bubbles, but whatever. Not the game developer. Not the game developer. Whatever, I got second out of seven, so, or, you know, 15 stars. That's all that matters. Stage four, here we go. If I can get there. After saving. Stage four. Stage four is the last stage, so it's going to try and basically throw everything you've seen in uh, raising wounds yet so far at you. Um, moving sand blocks and such, so yeah. And various enemies. We get another ability here, um, the bomb ability, and I just killed the guy. I realized that after I killed him, but, uh, yeah, bomb ability is really, it's actually one of my favorite abilities, um, quite honestly, because it's, just, I don't know, it's really good if you want to just constantly, constantly spam the button and just kill something. Um, especially it's useful, like, it, it's very useful later on, um, in boss fights, so, yeah. I recommend it for some boss fights, so, yeah. Get it while you can. Um, this stage also is unique, as in, it actually has five energy spheres that you need to get, so it's the first stage to do that. Um, as you see, I get, as you can see, I get the bomb ability here. Um, and there's a, this is like a moving, um, conveyor belt of sorts that's, you know, moving in the direction, opposite direction you're moving, so it's kind of hard to, uh, maneuver it, but whatever. Um, in here, this puzzle is actually really tricky. Um, I don't know how many various ways there are to do this, but I don't know. I quite honestly don't understand this puzzle that much myself. Um, I don't get, like, what you're supposed to do if you do what I did. Almost. Uh, I remember when I first played this game, I got stuck on this puzzle for like a half hour. I could not understand what you're supposed to do, and I just happened to get lucky. I was like up against the ledge of the wall to the right, and I was trying to throw it and then quickly run past the door because it's only a temporary door. It will go away. So I don't know. Maybe you. I don't know if there's an easier way. I'm not really sure, but I just cannot figure that out that puzzle for life of me. It's probably some easy. I'm just not understanding. Anyways. Uh, we get into a dark room, and we see a candle. Kirby can pick it up if you just walk past it, so. Um, there's other random lights throughout the level, too, to help you guide your way, but, um, I'd recommend taking the candle with you, because it's really helpful, actually, so. It's like your best friend in this place, because you're trying to see where you're going, almost, so. And usually you have to choose a path, like, bottom, you can see... You, it leads you to nothing, and that's a trick there. They try to make you go straight to think there's an energy sphere there, but no, it's a trick. 
Um, there's lots of Gordos, they're really annoying. Um, actually, the energy sphere's up here. Uh, it's a funny thing, the candle can actually, um, destroy blocks and stuff. And I think it can destroy, kill enemies too, so... It's really unique in that sense. <clears throat> um, almost out of this dark room. After I've killed everything, now take the candle with me, and if once you're in a bright room like this, um, it actually doesn't work. It's like the candle's out, so, and if you throw it, it, it breaks, so. Pretty much it's just one, one use for the dark rooms. Now I decided to keep the palm ability, because I know what enemies that's gonna be. It's the water mini boss, Water Galboros, or whatever his name is, I don't know what name is. But, um, he's real easy if you have the palm ability still, so. Yeah, um, suck him up to get the water ability, and yeah, water ability again, so, it can be used to destroy these fire blocks, but it takes two hits, um, first hit to, uh, drown the fire out, and then it becomes a regular block, and then you can destroy it with anything else, the black block, you know. one up here, I don't know if that's all that is, there might be something I think, or else they wouldn't give you the water ability for nothing. They give you another little mini water guy there, so if you lost the ability somehow. Actually, I, you don't even need it. All it was for um, a one-up, so it's not needed. So anyways, we get into a room where we see some cannons, and they're spitting out fireballs and stuff. It's just really annoying. You gotta dodge them and everything, so you gotta time your way through. And as you can see, there's a bat to, to some point. Yeah, they're just really annoying. Uh, we actually get a new little helpful item that, um, obviously a temporary helpful item, but, um, it's actually a really interesting one. We'll get it in a second here. It's, uh, basically an invisible crystal. So enemies can't see you. So, and you can walk through anything, and especially useful for when you want to walk through, um, invisible crystal walls, because you can't walk through them regularly. So, it's very useful, because right here we get an energy, energy sphere if we walk, walk through there. As you can see, bats don't see me, but when I collect the energy sphere, they know I'm there now because they they saw me, so now they know where I am. So yeah, it's only useful basically if you want to get through somewhere without getting hurt or touched or seen. So yeah. Anyways, we're down to the last part of the uh, stage. Just got a little bit less to do. We get the sword ability. Now the reason we get the sword ability is because there's some ropes we should cut, probably. Get rid of these cannons, mini ones. And actually, we get a little bit of a repeat of a uh, ultra ability. Now we're back to the ultra sword ability again already. So, uh, as you can see, there's gonna be a pattern. Yeah, pattern. We've only had three different ultra abilities. We've had the, the sword one, the fire one, and then the beam one. So, there's more, but uh, other than that, there's not that many else. Not much else. So, um. Yeah, basically you're just gonna be wanting to cut through everything you get to because um, there's ropes and stuff, and it basically just helps clear your path. So I'd recommend getting the Ultra Ability if you can, because yeah, right there, this room's a little annoying. Just clear everything. It's really useful. <clears throat> so um, as you usually, well, yeah, all almost always, um, if you have an if, you, if there's an Ultra Ability level and you get it. Um, basically, at the end of the stage, there's gonna be a dark matter world opening to destroy, so... And actually, is it right here? Yeah, it is right here. So you... Well, yeah, I think it's practically always, um... There's, uh, a dark matter world, because you need it... You need the ultra ability to, uh, get to the dark matter world, so... Yep. Dark matter world, um... Actually, you're going to be running in pretty much the opposite direction we've ran, uh, ran in so far in this game. So now we're running uh, left instead of right, because that makes sense. This theme is basically a lot of jumping and maneuvering with some cannons and stuff. Uh, not really that hard. Like I said, a lot of jumping and cannons, as you can see. Sorry, tired. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of jumping and stuff. That's really all I can say. Uh, yeah, and then there's some bigger cannons here, so it's kind of annoying. But um, 
uh, actually, we're almost to the end here. But it's a little dangerous if you don't, if you're not really that quick. You got to be careful because you could die. Because as you can see, now we need to go right to get to the door, and if you're not quick enough, you could be screwed. Because the dark matter will squish into the wall. So yeah, you got to be careful. Got to be quick. So or else you'll die a lot. Because I have 17 lives. And actually, speaking of death. I know, I'm gonna die again. Because, not there, no, no, I thought I died there too, but no, I saved myself. Um, some stupid reason, and there, again, I thought I died, but no. Uh, I got the sword. I shouldn't have got the sword ability in the first place, because it was just terrible. You hit, for the sword ability is more of a physical attack than a special one. Um, so you have to basically be up close and, like, trying to attack him. It might deal more damage, I'm not sure, but uh, I don't think it really helped that much. Because as you can see, I lost the ability. I tried to get the fire ability, and I, this is where I screwed up. Um, okay, so... I tried to get back my fire ability here. Or no, I didn't. I tried to get I tried to get my fire ability back, and I, he knocked me back into the pit, and I died. Yay! So, now you can see what happens if you die in the dark matter world. You get sent back out of the star. Then, if you want to go back in, you don't have to, but I'm going to. Um, you go back in, basically you have to do with just what, like, the first part again. So, uh, yeah, so to get to the uh, Spear Doomer again, you have to get through the first part again. So, it's really annoying, but I guess that's what happens when you die. So, I'll try not to die more off. I'll try not to die as often later on. <coughs> in the game, but I don't know how much of that I can control because, I don't know, later on in this game it gets really, really irritatingly annoying. Not hard, but just really annoying, so, I don't know. See, I'm already, I, I'm already almost done here. Just gotta get through the door and not gonna get the sword ability because the sword ability sucks. And that's one of the abilities that's really commonplace in this game. And it's not really that good. So, I don't know. I don't know, a lot of people like the sword ability, I'm not really a fan of it. So, I, you see it way too much in games. So, round two, Sphere Doomer. Gotta do this again. Um, well, I should have chose, chosen the cutter ability, because it's a lot better. It can hit him twice if you're lucky, because it's the uh, boomerang, you know, so it goes... Kirby shoots a boomerang, so it goes, it comes back to the thrower, you know. And actually, if you hold down one or whatever, you can uh, make a super boomerang, so it really does a lot of damage. And, the good thing about boomerangs is you can sort of control them, like there. Kind of make out where you want them to go. Not, it's not super controlled, but you can kind of determine where it will end up. So, hopefully I don't lose it, my cutter ability. No, I don't. Um, Spear Doom is really easy. You just gotta be careful in this state, in this part, um, this, this little boss fight, because... The star blocks beneath you, yeah, that's why I died. If those weren't there, like if it was just normal, um, like ground, I wouldn't have died. But they're really annoying when they, they're, it's really stupid how they did that, because it's just, I don't know, stupid. Because then if, if you, if you just get sent, if you fly back down straight into the ground, you can just kill yourself, so. I don't know, I don't really like what they did there, but I guess it's okay if you run out of, if you don't, if you lose your ability or something, but it's still dangerous to try and get those in the first place, so. Yeah, anyways, goal game, I got second again, so, yeah. I don't like the goal game in this game. It's so confusingly stupid and everything, so. Okay, now for the boss fight, as you can see, it's a little, there's some, like, confetti and stuff, and it's a little bit more colorful. And 25 energy spheres being locked the lift challenge, yay. Not gonna do any of that till later on anyways, so don't have to worry about it. But now, boss of, uh, Raisin Ruins. Technically stage 5, so. Here we go with boss room. We got whip ability, water ability, or high jump. I choose the whip ability. And honestly, if you have the bomb ability or some other random ability somehow, I'd rather have that than anything, any of those abilities. I don't recommend high jump, that one's not that good for this boss fight at all. 
Um, it's, I mean, you can still deal damage, but it's just, it's not really the best option. Water abilities all right, but still, it's more of a ground attack, ground special attack, and this guy floats. He is Mr. Duder. Um, he is basically an, uh, Egyptian magician. Try saying that five times fast. Egyptian magician. Egyptian magician. Um, he is more annoying than he is hard. Um, he's real. he's easy. Um, you just gotta be careful with what you do, because right here, okay, so once you get past, once you get him whittled down, uh, half his health, this is when it starts to get real annoying. Um, he starts bouncing around, and you basically have to keep moving or else he'll land on you and stuff. And right here, he pulls out these big fists, and they punch you, and they hurt. Trust me, they hurt. He throws up snakes and stuff, he tries to juggle bombs, and actually, if you don't destroy the bombs, you can actually suck them up, and you, that counts as a bomb ability. So, that's actually a smarter technique than me killing them. Like, you know? But I went and killed them anyways, because right here, I lose my ability, but I was like, you know what, it's the end. And I missed. You know, that just figures. I missed. And this is where I thought I was going to die, because I was like, okay, I need to be more careful. And then I got hit somehow, I don't understand how. And then I saw bats, and I was like, oh, he's got me, I'm dead. I missed again, and then I was like, I gotta get this, I'm dead. And I went, bam, and he's dead. Yeah, great summary there. Um, but yeah, real close battle, as you can see, but I made it. Just gotta get... Uh, this wing for Magalore's ship, and we'll be out. And Kirby's gotta do his dance here, and, you know, okay, keep dancing, yeah. Yeah, we get it, happy music and everything. Good job, good job. And now, we've recovered our second ship part. Yay! Out of five, so... Slowly getting there, slowly but surely. Just gotta take it one stage at a time, one level at a time, whatever you want to call it, one world at a time. And as you can see, special cutscene, got the second ship part, um, there's actually two wings, so I don't know if this is, what is it, is it the right wing, or the left wing, I, I don't know how they do it, I think it might just be the right wing. But yeah, now we gotta go talk to Magalore, Magalore, you did it Kirby. My star cutter has its right wing back in place. I was right. Once we find all the ship parts, I'll take you on the ship to my home planet. I come from a distant land. It lies at the end of the interdimensional tunnel. It's really far away, but lore is the best. I do hope you'll... something. I don't know, I went too fast, but whatever. Anyways. Now, since we got, uh, R Raisin Ruins done, that... what does that mean? Yeah, we open up another level. And it is Onion Ocean. Yes, it's an ocean. It's the water level, the dreaded water level. Actually, not. The, it's not really dreaded, but I I don't like water levels in video games. But to me, it's dreaded. So, anyways, next time on Kirby's Return to Dreamland, we go to stage one and more than likely stage two of Onion Ocean, level three. Oh, well, yeah, Onion Ocean. A lot of water. Gotta do a lot of maneuvering, swimming, everything. Not gonna be fun. I'll see you guys next time for Onion Ocean. Goodbye.